Leading up to Halloween is known as spooky season and features plenty of opportunities for people to scare or be scared. Siouxland News reporter Joe McMahon explo explores just why people like getting scared at this time of the year. <laughs> Halloween and the month of October have become a popular time for people to enjoy a good scare from horror films and haunted attractions. And I talked to experts to find out why fright brings people together. The Halloween season gives uh, folks an excuse to kind of delve into things that they normally don't do, whether that's a, a costume that's a little more uh, outrageous than they no might normally be or indulged in, in, in a uh, a look that they want to play with. From the costumes to stories that fascinate people have a big part in why so many seem to enjoy these scary things. Uh, but I think people are just like fascinated with like the macabre. I mean, Halloween's a huge time of the year. Everybody enjoys seeing the interesting costumes and stuff like that. I know for me, I love horror films because I feel like they're fairy tales for adults. What makes horror so different is that the things that we're excited by and are attracted to are things we wouldn't sort of experience in everyday life. So, you know, storytelling, going back to, you know, the Babylonian Gilgamesh and Beowulf, it's all about um, learning about new things that may be fantastical, that may be unreal, that we don't ourselves experience. Fear is also a universal feeling that anyone in the world can feel and understand. Fear is like a universal language, whereas like, you know, comedy might not translate overseas as well because, like, you know, when you when you translate the joke, it might not make as much sense if that, uh, you know, in an, in a new language. But when you tr translate a, a killer running out of a thing, coming after somebody, everybody understands that. That's a universal uh, a universal thing, and I think it's a universal issue that that people would be afraid of. Fear is universal. I think we, when we recognize situations where someone is in danger or uh, in peril. The, that transcends language, that transcends culture and religion, and we can recognize it and relate to it and, uh, and feel a sort of a, a vicarious thrill through that. People recognize these situations and have a curiosity that make them want to watch horror films. There's something of the, you know, when you pass a, a car accident, you know, an unfortunate car accident on the highway, and you may slow down to sort of see what's happening. Because that's so unusual, we're sort of attracted to it. You know, we're not being ghouls. We are attracted to something that is out with our experience that we've not experienced before. And I think horror is the extreme of that. In Sioux City, Joe McMahon, Siouxland News.